Hi Scorpio, this is your weekly finance reading for the 14th to the 20th of May and if this does not resonate with you, please check your moon, rising or Venus and you are going to have such a powerful week coming towards you Scorpio. Sun in your seventh house, moon in your own house, oh my god, what are you going to do, fight with yourself? It's like your subconscious or your mind telling you, this is this, and the sun shines light. No, this is this. And you're like, what should I do? <laughs> but it's time for beginnings for you, okay? It's time for new beginnings. Scorpio, let's see what is coming towards you in finances. All right? So show me spirits. Show me what is coming towards Scorpios. All right, here you go. Hermit. You're into yourself, thinking, wondering what to do. Two of Pentacles, you're balancing, you're trying to balance your life and career. Two jobs, maybe started a new business, yet the old one stick, still hangs around. And the King of Swords, a person who knows it all, knows how to handle, is so wise. Authority. Okay, you could be coming into authority. Underlying energy, Queen of Cups, following your intuition. So this is like the sun shining in your seventh house and this is like the moon in your own house. Okay, so yeah, Scorpio, what is happening with you is now, you're getting intuitions, you want to follow your heart, you want to, uh, there are certain things that you feel for and you want to go towards them. And your intuition is saying, there's the right time, there's the right move, that will be the right thing to do. What you're doing is, you have, you know, kind of detached from the world and you've gone inside. You're like looking for, seeking for answers in, within you. That is what is a Scorpio energy, right? Unearthing what lies inside you. So that is what is coming towards you. You are looking for things that lie inside you and try to figure out um, what is it that you want to focus on. And I see you juggling effectively, not confused. I see you effectively juggling maybe love, life and career. Why did I say love? Maybe love and career for some. You're trying to juggle life and career. You're trying to balance between expenses and uh, incomes. You're effectively balancing between two new jobs or two new businesses but whatever it is you are so confident so knowledgeable it's this is like the sun in your seventh house you are full of confidence you are full of um, knowledge you know what to do and uh, I see you very courageous and uh, what I see is that uh, you know you you are ready to face the world or you are ready to see the truth or you're coming into authority you know maybe there is a lot of authority around you it is about the ability to handle all kind of information you know whatever information needs to and analyzing a problem so whatever has been the problem in the past you're analyzing them logically you know you're analyzing them logically and you are trying to find out uh, the brilliant solutions, you know, how to do it. What's the, not the quick fix, but a solution that will lead you to balance things effectively. You know, it's about uh, having high ideals and high moral standards too. So this is why uh, this is the card of authority. So with your clear and sharp intellect, because this king of swords has a very clear and sharp intellect, um, you know, and your ability to analyze uh, situations properly, you're going to come into uh, solutions that will lead you to effectively balance your career and uh, effectively find a solution to your problem or lead to growth. So you are doing all that from your headspace and though you want, you're very confident about maybe there are certain ideas or certain business ideas that you feel a lot about. You want to feel happy, you want to feel successful, you want to follow that intuition but um, 
So now you're putting your thoughts to it. You're like trying to figure out what needs to be done in order to be here. And you're using all your knowledge and all your wisdom to find that solution. That is what I see coming towards you, Scorpio. So it could be in a job could be in but whatever it is uh, you're trying to effectively balance two things could be expenses and income could be life and career work-life balance as we say or it could be between two businesses maybe you have an existing business and you're starting something new so depends so let me know in your comments and your story what is your story all right so let's see two advisors forgiveness maybe you need to forgive some people from the past and move ahead that is what the king of swords does now the person has come into higher knowledge and has gone deep within themselves they realize maybe some old old business old work that didn't uh, work properly that didn't uh, fulfill you and you still hold the grudge against those people but that was till last month with the new moon happening on your sign is a time for beginning. So maybe you'll forget, forgive and move on. Okay? And don't compromise. Don't compromise because you are the king of swords. With your learning and with your knowledge, you'll find the solution. But do not compromise when you're juggling. Do not pay more attention to one and pay less attention to the other. Okay? So forgive and move on and then Whatever you want, work towards it. Don't compromise on quality. Don't compromise on price. Don't compromise on the type of work you want to do because this is your time for a new beginning. Whatever you want to begin, you can begin. So don't compromise there what you want to begin. Okay? So let's see. Uh, life path advice for you, my Scorpios. Support. Your life support purpose fully supports you. So whatever you want to do, you will have support of people. You will have support from family. You will have financial support. You will have emotional support. You will have support from all ends. So don't worry and don't compromise because you know you're supported. Your spirits support you. So don't compromise. You have that knowledge. You have that use wisdom. Use it effectively. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have for you this week. Please let me know your story as it's always nice to know what is happening in your life. And you can connect with me on Facebook, Discord or visit my website, MinervaTarot.com. And also don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these readings. And have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.